And you thought I was joking. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it, 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 I, somebody just asked me in the lobby, they said, so wow, they made them put that ending on the film. And it was like, no, they, they actually didn't make them put the ending on the film. That was their concept. It's like, like let's just do this, right? Uh, I, I think at that point, uh, those of you who are just coming in for black hair, you don't know what we're talking about. But um, no, I think that their feeling was this is so uh, completely over the top and that the Korean audiences were so unprepared for a movie like this that they had to turn them loose at, at the end. And like, so you get that amazing 20 seconds at the end of the film, which I, I frankly love. I mean, everybody knows that I love a complete downer ending, <laughs> right? Uh, but I can't deny it is such a colossal relief to see that man smile. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, thank you, I can go home now. Uh, so that, that movie is something. So I guess you can all, uh, those of you who have seen Parasite, it probably makes sense. Uh, that Bong Joon-ho, this is like uh, clearly an inspiration to him. Okay, um, the film that you're about to see, this is weird, I don't normally do this, uh, it's not my thing, but a couple of times during the course of the festival I've had people come up to me and say, you should have given a warning yeah. about something. So I'm giving you a little bit of a trigger warning uh, that this film does contain some pretty uh, offensive material, okay? That is the point of the movie, okay? Because this is, this is a movie about uh, reprehensible male codes of behavior. That is the point of this movie. Uh, the woman, uh, in, in the star of this film, uh, Jeon Suk Moon, is going to be humiliated and debased throughout the course of this movie. It is the point of the film. It is not that the filmmakers, uh, that um, Lon Ki is, uh, is not endorsing this, uh, but this is the point of the movie. So there, you now have your trigger warning. Uh, you know, <laughs> I didn't say I didn't warn you. Uh, but what I do have to warn you about with this film, and uh, rather than give you a, bit, a lot of background about the movie you're about to see, uh, as a way of summarizing how difficult some of this stuff is to actually uh, find these days and get up on a screen, despite the fact that in the digital age everything is supposed to be remarkably convenient, um, when I wanted to show this film in San Francisco, um, we reached out to the Korean Film Archive in Seoul and said we would, you know, we want to do this. What? How do we make it happen? Let's get this done. And they said, well, there is no 35 print of this film. We can't send you film, but we can send you a DCP of the movie. I said, fine, we'll we'll take that. Great. Uh, they ended up sending something that no American equipment recognizes, right? So uh, I was kind of startled because we were only two days away from the show. And it's like, we, we really can't even play this. I don't even know what this is. It, it wasn't even a case. It was like they sent a motherboard or something <laughs> to like plug in. I, I don't know what this is. Uh, so we argued with them diplomatically that we need something else. So they, they said, our bad, sorry, and then they sent two more of the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, fortunately, uh, my colleague, uh, Hyun Jin Cho from London, the woman that I mentioned that invited me to this festival, uh, I invited her to San Francisco to present the films with me, um, and she was able to make a last minute digital copy of the film in London, uh, and put it on a, a DCP that was readable by American equipment and hand carry it with her on the plane to San Francisco. 
That is what you are about to see. I am sorry to say that the first eight minutes of the film are flawed. So there is, there is digital problems with the first eight minutes of this movie. Thank God it stops. And thank God that the first two or three scenes of this movie are not critical to the plot of the film. Uh, I apologize in advance. This is, this is what we have. Uh, it, it staggers, it stutters, it has digital problems that you would never see on a 35 <laughs> <laughs> um, Those problems would be something else. But if, if you can't handle it, look at your watch and count to eight minutes, because it's going to stop. Uh, and, and then the film will play normally from, from that point on. Uh, so, this is it. And that's why I'm going to leave you with that. And um, I hope very much that you can come back tomorrow night for the last night of the festival. This is that is that happening? Okay, let's do that. I guess we're going to do. We're going to do that. I wasn't sure this was actually happening. I don't even have a prize to give you here. Well, the apparently, there's something back there somewhere, but that's fine. It's up. Oh, here it is. Darl always saving the day. Woo! My name is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, okay. Uh, now normally I've been trying to tie the question in with the film, but like who knows much about Korean cinema, you know? Uh, you you not like maybe no, you, yeah. you do. Okay, but I'm gonna go real easy on it. Okay. okay. All right, uh, right about the same time this film was made, uh, there was a film made in this country. Uh, some people call it noir, some people don't consider it to be noir. Uh, starring Lawrence Harvey and Frank Sinatra, set in this part of the world uh, about something that we all are wishing for. <laughs> A man programmed to assassinate the president of the <laughs> What is the title of that movie? I do believe the title of that movie would be The Manchurian. That is correct! <laughs> 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 and, uh, of course, for knowing that, you get the Warner Archive Collection Blu-rays of Murder My, Murder My Sweet and Hell on Frisco Bay. Oh, thank you very much. Have you seen these movies? No, I That's not. what we love. Okay, thank fantastic. You thank you. And, and thank you for this. This is a delight every year. I took time off of work this year so that I could do the whole thing. <laughs> That's good. My, my ultimate goal, my ultimate goal is to bring the economy to a standstill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very so much. So we're getting there. Okay, enjoy black hair and come back tomorrow night because we got a, we got a great finish. We're going to Germany tomorrow night. But right now, black hair. We're good.